Hello everyone! Today we are in Yamato in Kanagawa Prefecture and we're going to the Yamato Curio Market which is the Yamato Kominka Koto Ichi in Japanese. Koto means antique, Ichi means market. So we are going to check out some of the stalls here today. Straight away I have spotted some cranes. You will learn that I have an obsession for cranes. I'm not sure why I did not pick these up but they are so pretty little containers there. So that's a thousand two hundred yen which is about eight dollars for one. I actually really like this market because it's really relaxed. Um, I don't know if it's because it's not actually in Tokyo. It's about 45 minutes away from Shinjuku central Tokyo. lovely sometsuke plates sometsuke is using the cobalt blue glaze and they have loads and loads of um, good quality obi belts and kimonos and things like this that, and they don't smell like some of the flea market stuff does so you are paying up but you get much better quality This is one of my favorite booths here. All the prices are actually half price from what's been labeled. And they also have labels saying what era or period of history they are from. So for example, this one here, it says Meiji, the Meiji period. These ones are all transfer wear. And um, this one says Showa Shoki. So the start of the Showa period. Um, yeah, so they're all labeled and some of them can go quite far back. This is Taisho. Isn't it a beautiful picture in there? I like these bamboo ones too. You can see where some of the transfer wear hasn't transferred properly. So that's probably why these ones are reduced price. But if you're picking them up for yourself, you know, why not get something reduced price for fun? There's so much variety. I love it here. You have to come earlier. I was already quite late on this day, um, so there was less stuff out. But I purchased some of these. These are from the Edo period. This is the end of the Edo period. So you're looking at kind of 1850s through to the 1920s, 1930s in this stall.
Of course, I find the little guy. I always find the tiniest kokeshi. Always a bit blurred, sorry. But it's so cute. I'm not sure what the prices were on this table. This guy had things different price. Um, bit more, I think these were probably about a thousand yen. So $6.80. They were a little bit higher up in price. Although I find her head a little bit damaged. Uh, but the yellow is quite nice on this one. So yeah, the coloring's pretty good on that one. So that's good for a thousand yen. I like this one too, but the purple's faded a bit. And I'm looking at the yellow again and the neck is not secure. So this one has a nice bright yellow kimono, but a bit faded in the middle. And I really like this, the kimono part, but her head is a bit messed up. I don't mean to sound so critical. <laughs> and this ladle, I'm not sure where it's from. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff that's not necessarily Japanese, so it's fun looking at things. There's a tiki figurine, and that was an Ainu Hokkaido uh, face, wooden carved face. This is a chagu chagu from Iwate Prefecture. Not to be confused with the Yawata horse. They, they're more ornate, you know? They got lots more going on. They have all that fringing on them because that's what they actually look like at the festival that they have each year. This is a fairly huge one, but unfortunately you can see it's got a chippy on its ear there. And here is the Yawata horse. Can you see the difference? I can tell by the nostrils. <laughs> I actually picked this up, which is kind of interesting. I picked both of those up. I'll talk about them later on. So now I've moved on to have a look at this. Very beautiful under kimono, I would say. You'd wear this underneath a kimono. Uh, but it had some staining on it, which is a shame because it's a beautiful color. They had loads of these hand-woven beautiful baskets. Um, and just, just so much here. To be honest, I think I only videoed about gosh a quarter of the market it's huge it really is huge so get there early and spend a lot of leisurely time how he's taking his shoes off that's what we do in japan even if it's in a market and you're stepping on someone's mat but here is my little haul today there isn't much but i will go through these things i did also go to the accessory lady that i always go to at this market and once a month at oi keibajo oi racetrack so i'll go through that briefly 
as well. But this is the first thing I'm showing you. It says Yuzawa at the back. It's very light. Um, and I think it's not too old. This is Yuzawa Onsen. So that'll be the uh, hot spring area. Um, I don't know much about it. I cannot find anything about it. But I thought it'd be kind of cool as a gallery piece uh, for your wall. So I've picked that one up. Now this is a really interesting thing. I believe it's a batik or Indonesian calendar. Um, it's just unusual. So I've picked it up. There's just the one. Can you see where there's like a Roman numeral two for number four? They've replaced that one. The rest is one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is there 10? I don't know. Maybe there's another one missing. But anyway, um, this is a calendar. So that was interesting. I've seen it sell really well on Etsy. Um, but anyway, that will go in the Japan market. I'll be selling it in Japan, but just thought it was unusual. This is one of my favorite picks of today, which is a Edo period plate, a Namasu, Zara Namasu plate. So it's got a bit of depth on it. And can you see that it's quite thick in the middle there too? It's quite dense there. It's got crazing, but it will do because it's quite old. And it also has the picture in the center. It has Shochikubai, which is the pine, and then the bamboo, and then the plum blossoms. I love this. It's probably about 1850s, I think it was uh, made. Um, and I use it regularly already now. So, um, and this one also comes from the same period. They're both Arita wear. I presume this one, mm, it's Arita, but it might be more specific of what it is. I love the painting on it. Um, I'm going to try and figure out what it is. Hold on. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's a Kakiemon style because the colors of the pictures and the style of it i'm not sure i need to research it more but it's beautiful i love the story going on in there i haven't used this one yet and this is a transfer where it's plum blossoms you can see that there's a fault there where it didn't pick up the transfer properly on the corner there uh, but i love it in fact i wish they had more than one but um, i've just got the one it's lovely i have used this several times already too it's very useful I think if I have bought these things, I must use them instead of just looking at them. Um, I have these beads, so um, I wanted to show you what I do with them. I picked up these beads actually in Asakusa. They're not antique or anything. There's a place which uh, makes these. Um, you can actually do lessons and classes on um, how to make these too. Uh, maybe I will do a video on that, on Asakusa. I didn't do Asakusa yet because it's a bit touristy. Um, but anyhow, see, this is what I use it for with incense. So I thought about doing that with that plate, but I'm worried it might burn the plate. Hmm. But anyway, <laughs> I wanted to show you that, but it's good for putting my earrings on it for sure. So you saw these, I was saying they're kimono cords. Well, um, or they're cords made of kimono. The lady on the stall makes them. So I thought I could do some kind of DIY. And basically when I go look for jewelry, um, I don't like to really get my loop out because it's so busy. So I have a pair of glasses because my eyes are so bad now from um, staring at the phone. So, um, yeah, so that's what I've done to put it around my neck when I'm thrifting. So I might do the same with that. This is an obiage. Beautiful. It's made of silk. Isn't the color gorgeous? So an obiage is kind of like a, a long silk scarf, which I guess you could call it like a bustle. Um, you use it to secure the obi pillow in place and it kind of is revealed on top on the it peeks through the top of the obi so that's why it's kind of stretchy as well because it has to tie i love the traditional pattern of the ocean waves and this only cost me 500 yen so that's three dollars and 40 cents around that so it's a pretty good bargain so this is the jewelry I picked up this time. It's 500 yen for three items at this stall. So $3.40 for three items, which is really good, but you have to really dig through. This is amber. This is faux ivory. And this is made in Germany. So I can sell this for about $20 over here. So that's pretty good. You really have to rummage through to find these things. Um, so made in Germany. And then this one says Bijou on the back. 
that also I can sell for about $20 here. And this is just a really simple one. I'm not sure it's that old actually, but I think those will be something that will sell quickly because they're dainty. These ones are a little bit chunkier, so I'm not so sure. I love these. These are probably 1950s made in Japan. I have to flip that round, Michelle, so we can see it properly. There we go. So they're very good. They'll sell well here. I actually got this for myself. It was a really, really old scarf clip. You know, people don't wear these anymore, so I thought that was kind of cool. It says, Japan, USA, Korea, patent pending. I mean, look at the rubber there. It's so old. I believe it was probably 1950s, I'm thinking. So I'm going to wear it with a scarf like this, because why not? <laughs> this, I did buy to sell, but then it was a little bit heavy. So I'm not sure I'm going to use it myself, I think, on a blouse that I also thrifted elsewhere. I like the old buttons on these ones. So um, I'm going to use it on this and clip it like that. Um, actually, it's a really good thrift shop quite near me um, for clothes and bags. But it's, it's so hit and miss. But everything is 300 yen. Everything. And I got this Hamano bag to sell. And these are like... Well, these are made by the people that make the handbags for our royal family. 300 yen is $2. This is real lamb's leather. It's super soft. And it's on my Merikari in Japan for just over $100. So this was my little shop uh, haul for now. But I actually went back to the market, this market, last week or the week before. And um, I picked up some more jewelry, but when I did, they had um, some Kokeshi dolls too. So I just wanted to show you that. I'm not going to show you the market bit, uh, but I'm going to show you what I did pick up. These, I got all of this for a thousand yen, all grouped together from the same lady that I get the jewelry from. I also did pick up some more jewelry as well and uh, another obiage from the same guy. I got the peach colored one. I wanted a lilac one, so I'm glad I found one. So quickly, just quickly going through what I have here. First of all, this is a brooch, which is actually just silver tone. It's not actual silver. And the turquoise, that's actually a ceramic. And it must have been a ceramic day or something because I found these clip-on earrings too. They're ceramic and they're marked in Japanese there. So that's a cool find. These are quite brutalist. I thought they'll sell well. So pick those ones up. And this has already sold. It has an adjuster. It's an Emporio Amarni, kind of like a dog tag look to it. And now for all the folk craft pieces. So this little ox is made of wood. It's being carved and it's left some of the bark on it. Can you see there? It's pretty cool. This is from Zenkoji. It says there's Zenkoji Temple, which is in Nagano Prefecture. And it says Mamori Ushi, which is like a protective ox or the ox that protects you. So I guess it's an amulet. And you know, I have tried to look for it and they don't sell them anymore at the temple. They have more modern versions. So yeah, this is a rare little piece. I'm happy to have picked him up. And then I have this one, which is again, something I wasn't familiar with. So I wanted to learn about it. She is called Kiso no Yome Iri Kome, which means wooden horse with bride. But it's actually not a horse, it's a foal. Yeah, like a baby horse, right? There's a little bit of damage there. Um, but I just wanted to find out more about it. So if you turn it around, someone's written on it. So this is definitely a votive. And I'm not sure if the signature at the bottom is something that the person who bought this wrote or if it's the artisan's mark. Uh, this, you can see the paper on there. That's washi paper. It's very, very interesting. It's new for me. So, And this is from Kiso, Kiso Magome, which is also from Nagano Prefecture. So both those pieces are from the same area, the same prefecture. So let's have a look at the Kokeshi now. These two also have their bark remaining on them. Her head does fall off. 
Um, see, yeah, the bark remains. This one, the little one, the head stays on fine. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what kind of wood it is. It's definitely not cherry tree. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, there's some writing on it that will tell us where it's from. And it says here on the right, it says Kamikochi. So Kamikochi is an area also in Nagano Prefecture, like the other two items we looked at. And it's sort of mountainous and highlands, and it also has a natural park. Very beautiful place to go hiking in the summer. So those are cute. And these, I mean, they're all such good condition, you know, for uh, market finds. There is a little bit of the paint off there, but it's not bad at all. I think she's got such a sweet face, right? And then there's the other one here, also in good condition. Very nice, a bobble head. No, that, I think that's fine. Nothing to worry about. They're great. I hope they go to a nice home soon, but they are on my shelf for now until I think about how I am going to sell them. I don't think I want to sell them to the Japanese market. These two are very cute too, aren't they? With the little cone heads. It's a pink one, a blue one. And these two have a snow scene. This one here has a little crab in snow and there's just snow and a rock, I guess, here. Really nice, very simple. I like these two a lot. And then we have these two with the florals. This tsubaki, what is it in English? Camellia, camellia. So I think this is a winter scene. And I guess this is sakura, cherry blossom, so spring, the thinner one. I love the eyebrows. <laughs> quite a character they're very cute aren't they and finally this is the other obiage that i bought it is a lilac color and i love it it's so pretty and you can see the tortoise shell pattern both on the edge there and here in the center that again is for good luck everything in japan all the patterns have some sort of meaning in general thank you for coming along with me to thrift at the Yamato Curio Market. I hope you come along again to another thrifting trip with me. Thank you again and see you in the next video. Bye!